Is there a difference between a sort of moisturizer with SPF and a more traditional sunscreen? In Australia and in most places, there's no difference. So it is pretty much a marketing decision which one you decide to put on. And in the Australian regulations, sunscreens and moisturizers with SPF are regulated the same way. So they go through the same testing. They've hit the same criteria before they get that label. So from a cosmetic chemist's perspective, to make a sunscreen or a moisturizer with SPF, the hardest thing to do is the SPF. If they tell you to make a moisturizer with SPF, SPF 50 versus an SPF 50 sunscreen, your whole process is the same. And then you just sprinkle moisturizers in the end for the moisturizer. Chances are most sunscreens on the market now are also like, they also have a moisturizing claim. Like they're like, this is a sunscreen that doesn't dry out your skin. So you would sprinkle that in anyway. So yeah, at the end of the day, they are probably like a lot of the time you probably end up with the same product with different names and they just decide the name at the end. 